we start by downloading and installing QuickLisp. I'm using a proxy, but you probably don't need that. Okay, uh, we need we need a QuickLisp for the, for the Swank package, which we use to talk to uh, a running Lisp image from Emacs. So QuickLisp is downloading it now. I I don't think it has any dependencies, but QuickLisp would download those as well. All right, let's create a server. The running Lisp image is now waiting for a connection from uh, Slime and Emacs. Uh, to get Slime running correctly, we need to uh, evaluate these three forms. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm also using these hooks. Uh, it's mostly for my convenience. It's what I'm used to. So now we're going to connect to us uh, to to, uh, to the running Lisp image to Swank. Okay, so now we can talk talk to the running Lisp image from Emacs. Okay, we now don't need that terminal window anymore. And uh, now we need to get the uh, repositories, the official AI challenge repository. Uh, you could also use uh, tools.zip file. At um, the current moment it doesn't work quite yet, but when the competition is going it'll probably be uh, it'll probably work fine. I'm used to just downloading the repository, find it easier and easier to stay up to date. So that's what we do here. And now I get uh, my starter bot with the proxy bot, or which includes the proxy bot. Now we're going to compile the proxy bot. There's a make make file, so you can just type uh, make proxy bot. Um, check the make file if you're curious uh, what the exact incantation is. We'll also compile the uh, bot itself just so we can run some basic tests against the uh, official repository see if it's working fine we know uh, don't need that window either I'm going to put some sync links to the binaries we just compiled into the <coughs> ants directory for ease of use so there they are uh, currently play game needs Python 2.7. I'm not sure if that's intentional. So I'm just going to put in a minor workaround. I'm also including our current uh, directory in the path environment. That isn't usually a smart idea, but it's just a workaround for now. Okay, play game is working. Let's see what test bot uh, shell script does. Okay. Well, the bot seems to be working. My bot seems to be working. Now we're going to check out play one game. It's just uh, an example shell script to get a game running and see if everything's uh, installed correctly. It runs for a thousand turns, so let's do something useful in the meantime. These two forms are needed to load the end spot. 
reason I'm not in the right directory. And idle mode isn't cooperating with slime cd command. Okay, so now we're in the correct directory. Now, loading ends bot. Well, let's wait for play game to finish. Yeah, play game automatically starts a replay in, the, in your default browser. As you can see, you can track uh, the timeline. Lefty bot did a little bit better than expected. These are the fog of war for each player, each bot. You can also speed up the replay or slow it down. You, know, just, you should just play around with the visualizer, see what it can do now, on a somewhat small screen for this video. So now we're going to use the play game command line. But, uh, remove some arguments, add some of our own, and use uh, the proxy bot as one of the players. The engine seed is to make the uh, game a little more deterministic. Although for this game, it, we're also using Hunterbot, which isn't deterministic, so it's not really useful for this. Uh, particular example. Also using <coughs> doing a little less turns. And we added the no launch uh, switch so it doesn't automatically launch a replay in the browser. Okay. So we add the proxy bot as a as a player. Now we go into the ants bot package and start up uh, main main routine which waits for proxybot to connect to the running list image. Well, it seems to work. And the bot itself is not intelligent at all. It just picks a, a direction and if it can't move in that direction it picks another one. Always in the same order. So I think North, east, south, west. Right, there it goes. It gets stuck at a little bit of water there. It's in a not very visible live green. If you're doing this yourself, you should probably put your bot in the first place so it'll be red.